In this video, I'm talking about how the world changes faster and faster. And if you want to stay relevant, if you want to keep your job, if you want to be able to run your business, you have to adapt your, yourself to the new environment. You have to change. You have to reinvent yourself. You have to be able to create and find new opportunities. So what happens? compared to the past where usually people had one profession in their whole life maybe they changed the job but they were basically the same career but nowadays whole industries disappear or at least relocate to other countries because the globalization everything can move very quickly so it's highly probable that if you are a young person you will force to change your career path several times in your whole lifetime. Not just the job, your whole career path. Of course, it's not true for all the job and all the careers equally, but some will disappear. Like typists, they disappear. Okay. So the world changes faster and faster and you need skills to learn to observe what's going on and change very quickly. You need financial backup, so when there is a change, it, there is a lot of cost. You need to be able to emotionally manage the change because it's painful. We don't want to change, but we are forced to change. And you need the mental skill to be able to, to see new opportunities and create opportunities. So there is an opportunity side so the reality that you have a job, a career, but then it will disappear, but new things will come up and the, your side, your mind, that you be, have to be able to catch the opportunities or create an opportunity. So what will happen in the future that the world is very interconnected and information comes very quickly. So there will be a lot of new chances to create a business or go into very specific uh, career path there will be more and more opportunity but because the world is interconnected you compete with in a lot of industry you compete with everybody in the world like for example a private teacher private tutor let's say 50 years ago just competed with the people in the same location in ex, the same district but now through the internet you, co you can compete with everybody. Okay, and then you also have to understand this that other people have a lot of skills, so they will jump and then take away your opportunities. So one is that you have to prepare to things that you cannot even imagine now. So what it means that you have to build a lot of skills and mindset and understand technology even if you don't know why is it will uh, why will it be useful because let's say five years later if you have this high level skills then you can grasp an opportunity but if you don't have the basic things that you can build up to get that skills then you will miss the opportunity so uh, let's say that you need language skills if you need language skills and you have an opportunity but you have to be able to speak let's say English if you're not native English speaker and if you realize that oh I cannot speak it takes years until you develop your language skills or if you need computer programming skills for the new chance like say new apps if you don't have these skills then five years later when there is an opportunity you will miss it so your chance to survive as an individual, as an employee, or as a company owner, a business owner, is con con consciously and continuously develop skills. And the best way to do this, if you have a very specific goal and you move towards and develop the skills and the mindset and the techniques to achieve this one. And the main point is not really achieving that skills, but developing core skills that later you can use it so even if you have a goal 
and later you find a different goal, it's okay, give up this goal, move to the next one. The main point nowadays is not achieving a specific goal. It is being able to achieve a specific goal if it's needed and to be able to do this, you have to be able to learn very quickly. You need to learn how to learn. You need skills, let's say this skill and this skill, and then you can build on a third skill. Let's say if you can play music and you are very good at drawing, maybe, and you're very good at computer programming, then you can combine this kind of skills. You can find a job that needs these specialized skills or you can start a business. But if one of them is missing, you cannot do this because other people, they will be faster. They don't need months and years to develop that knowledge and skills that need it to very quickly grasp the opportunity. So the only way to be able to survive in a long term and for more and more domain in business and career is constant sales development. Even if you don't have a very specific goal that you believe, at least try to create one. Let's say learn programming skills, learn it depends on your on your main domain maybe you are a biologist then develop more and more related skills not just the core skills because what happens that today let's say this is a traditional uh, domain of knowledge and this and what will happen there will be a more specialized knowledge that requires both so if we have two three four five deep knowledge in very different areas then maybe you will have a monopoly or not too many competitors in the whole world that can do this making computer programs and uh, being very good at biology and being a great musician maybe there is a common intersection and if you can master this, you will see as an expert in three fields what you can do. So maybe you will create opportunities for yourself for a new business idea. Or maybe other people need to employ somebody and then you will be the only one. Okay? So always learn and develop yourself because the world is changing. And if you want to survive in the market, do this, don't wait when it's too late.